everybody. We are back. My next guest has authored over a dozen books and for the last eight years has been the American spokesperson for Weight Watchers. Please welcome America's favorite royal, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. <laughs> Wait, this is. I think much. this is for for your daughter now. Oh, great! Thank you very much. These are That's books that uh, that you've written. Yes, yeah, so they're hot off the press. Actually, they're just out. Yes, they're actually burning my hand yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ella. Well, see, I think you can use this immediately. Uh, yes. My daughter won't be able to read for about ten years. Um, yeah, but you can read. That's right. Can I can. Read? Well, kind of. Let's not talk about that. Are you from Ireland? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. We have problems with reading the Irish. Yeah. No, I'm from Ireland too. Oh. Oh. There you go. All right. Well, this will, she'll she'll really like but this one day. Um, it's actually um, something really British. It's about a little girl that goes into the into the woods and she hears a noise and she does she face her fears or does she not? You know. How is that British though? <laughs> well, because because it's um, about me really. Oh, it's about you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But is there a part where she goes in a pub or something? Or. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's children's book. Oh, okay, uh, children's book. All right, yeah, that wouldn't yeah. happen. No, Maybe no, just no. stop and look at the pub and then move on. Yeah. I'm just. Yes. Now, first of all, I'm confused. I don't know what I should call you. Uh, do I call you Duchess? Sarah? Sarah? Really? Yeah, Duchess. Okay. Fergie. All right. Most people call their dogs Fergie, actually. Do you let really people that you don't? 1986, when I got married, everyone said, "Oh, you know, Fergie," and so in the park, everyone goes, "Fergie, Fergie," nice to turn around and oh, really? calling so their dogs. It became the fad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm curious. Do you let people call you Fergie that you don't know that well? Yeah, yeah. Everyone calls me Fergie. Okay, but Fergie. You can call me Fergie. But, you know, the I thing don't is, like it. It doesn't feel right. I don't feel like I should call you that. My huh? father was called Fergie, and my grandfather. Oh, and really? My great great grandfather. Oh, okay. But I like Sarah now. Should we get on to another subject? No. D I want you Dutch. to call me Coney throughout the interview. <laughs> if that's possible. I think this is a first for us. You're the first royal, uh, with the exception of Queen Latifah, that we've had on. <laughs> On the show. Good one. Good one. Thank you. I no, practice no, and rehearse. No, Actually, you. I've never rehearsed for this show. You haven't got a ferret for me, though, have you? No, no, no. We should. I think they, they, they took it away. They you got sing it out well. Of the... Yeah. No, I've made my peace. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> you really did. Yeah. 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 I faced my fears. Yes. 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 Right, yes. Right, yes. Yes. I want to write a book called Little Ferret. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. He's going to start working on it right little away. Fergie ferret. Little Fergie, Fergie ferret. ferret yeah. Fergie the little ferret. Yeah. I want in on this book somehow. <laughs> just profits. I just want a piece of it. Okay. Now, uh, let me say something. First of all, you're, you're a single woman. You're very attractive. You're Thank known you. throughout the world. Yet, I'm told that men don't approach you to ask you out. Why do you think that is? Well, because I think I come with the world's press. And I think uh, that I've had 12 years of tabloid journalism saying that I'm the worst person. And I think they don't want a part of it. I mean, they're afraid because there are some, sadly, there are probably some guys that would like maybe the attention. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They're just, for two years, I have been single. And it's, um, you know, I'd quite like to meet somebody one day. And that would be nice. Is this, a, is this a date show? Yes, it's become a, it's become a date show. Yeah. Good. My name is Chuck Woolery. And, uh, <laughs> You're going to be going around the park very soon. No, but I think it's very interesting. I think that, um, you know, it just shows that you can lose weight and get fit and do everything and have your hair straightened and have put makeup on, but, you know, it just doesn't get the guy. Well, there's probably a lot of intimidation there, if well, nothing else. I mean, I, I don't even think that it's just about the press. I think it's that you, you come Two with... Two princesses. Yeah, yeah. D Duchess of, of York. That's going to be intimidating mm. to a lot I of know. people. I know. It is. It is very... But, you know, let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, now you put the word out. That, my yeah. brother-in-law is single. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Do you want to actually hook, you'll, uh, make this happen? Well, he, he doesn't have a job right now. But <laughs> he's a great guy. He's a great guy, though. Is he? Yeah. Okay. That's all it's all right. about. Okay, yeah, yeah exactly. It's it could be a connection. Just, you know, that's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now, um... Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. This is going to happen. I'm going to make this happen. Then we'll, it will okay. be a date show. Right. Yeah. Back to Weight Watchers. Okay, you, 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 you're, you have been very open about how you struggled with your weight for mm. years. Mm. When you were struggling with your weight, what were the foods that you really liked that got you into trouble? I, I was a savory person. When my mom left to live in Argentina when I was 12, mm -hmm. I compensated for her loss by eating, and I used to eat sausages. Sausages? <laughs> I would think that would do it. <laughs> Just, yeah, would you eat a lot of sausages? Yes, like, a lot of sausages. Only sausages? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that's one of the problems. And, long, and I don't know if this is fair to say, but, but British food gets a knock, as, you know, people in this country knock British food, but 
some of it is, you know, it, the stereotype of British food is stuff like so, I'll have some sausages and some oh, yes, meat bangers. pudding and bangers, bangers and, and jub yeah. jub and fish mash, and yeah. Uh, yeah, fish and it's all fried. Let's fry up some sausages, yes. mate. You know, and well, I mean, <laughs> that guy was Australian. I'm sorry. Which guy? The guy I just did. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, did you I'm, do someone? Yes, I did. Oh. I went into a strange world of oh, my own, but I'm back oh, right. now. Oh, okay. That's the important thing. Oh, sorry. Do I know that man you just did? Uh, no, not well. And you should okay. stay away from him. He's oh, dangerous. Right. Um, right. But now that you, now that you've changed, you've you've changed your life. She's like, who is this horrible man? No, no, it's no, Tony. I'm, is I'm who just, it is. I'm just, you know, like, okay. I just gotta focus, refocus. Focus. Refocus. Right. But now, now that you've changed your whole trust me they're laughing at me uh, it's the way this show works yeah. now that you've you've changed your you've changed your body is there and I, I hope I'm not being too personal but is there a part of your body that you like the most now that that previously you didn't like <laughs> moving on um, no but I did say in an interview recently you know as you do, you sometimes say things in a funny way. And I said, I wouldn't know about I that. I said I'd like to. Um, I said I'd like to run down the beach in a black bikini and only the good wobbly bits wobbling. But I'm sure that's the case now. I, you I'd look like fantastic. To. Thank you very much, Conan. I, I will do that in about six months, I think. You're on that. Yeah. I, I hope the world's press won't be on that beach, but I think that's probably what I will be doing. Well, I'm, I'm sure you look fantastic. Thank and, you. Well, uh, thank you. But it's it's all down to being to sitting here and knowing that I'm okay now. Whereas I was nearly dead from low carb diets and from I had a migraine every 20 minutes. Well, the fad diets are yeah. are notoriously and I, terrible. And that's, and I, eight years ago, when when I went to Weight Watchers, they taught me to be in touch with me, and therefore I didn't need the food. Right. And when I didn't need the food, I lost the weight. It wasn't. Um, it was about me getting better, and that's why I'm, I'm so passionate about it. Because we've got to help more people, and that's why I do it. Anyway, thank well, you. Well, you're helping a lot of people, and uh, Little Red, of course, the book. I'm going to mention because that's available right now. You've, is this the only children's book you've written? You've written several children's yeah, books. Yeah, I've written Budgie the Helicopter, and I wrote about um, I wrote about six of those, right. and I'm going to do four more of those, and it's very important. I went to Harlem today. And what were you doing? <laughs> How did, where did that come out of? <laughs> I make pots. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I decided, I, I decided it's really important that, we, that we, we've got to put more focus on helping people in Harlem. Well, also, uh, with, weight with, oh, with the weight loss. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not just about that. Do you know, I went round America on a Greyhound bus. I love the randomness of... <laughs> <laughs> My knee is double-jointed. Uh, I'm going to keep matching you, random for random. Okay. Go, yeah. Have you been on a Greyhound bus? I've been on a Greyhound bus. Yeah, I slept on a Greyhound bus. So have I. Yeah, rolling yeah. down Highway 91. Really? <laughs> How old were you? What's that? How old were you? I'm in my late 50s. No, when you were oh. on the bus. When I was on the bus? Yeah. I think I was 11 when I went on the Greyhound yeah. bus to visit really? my grandmother. Really? Oh, good. Yeah. That's nice. Um, <laughs> well, I'm afraid we're out of time. In fact, we You're were out of time about... Me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. It was very nice having you here. We just yeah. ran out of time about nine minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> But it was very nice uh, having you here, and uh, I hope Thanks. I do hope we see you again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for okay. being here, Sarah Ferguson. Everyone, we'll take a break. Rich Hall, stick around. Okay, you've got about sixty seconds to stand up, stretch your.